For quite some time now, the uh, power button on my DX6E radio uh, didn't have any clicking action, although it still functioned to turn the radio on and off. Uh, three weeks ago, it ceased to function. Uh, another club member who's a better engineer than I am uh, agreed to take it home and fix it. And uh, so two weeks ago, we came back and I had no range. I couldn't get six feet away from it before I lost connection. Um, he took it back home, turned out the uh, the antenna had come disconnected during repairs and he hadn't noticed. Uh, so then uh, uh, a week ago it rained so we couldn't come out and then today I come back out ready to fly and, uh, and the uh, gimbal on my uh, elevator uh, didn't have uh, didn't return to center uh, when you let go of it so uh, I took it home took it apart and uh, figured it out had uh, had trouble the uh, the big plastic rod on the gimbal cage had to be seated right in the groove uh, on the backing of the radio the the back part um, so today's the test uh, again I'm gonna try and uh, fly for the first time in three weeks. The problem with the power switch is that uh, it has a uh, like a half bubble uh, dome for a trigger below the button, below the power button, and this uh, trigger is held on to the radio by scotch tape. Pretty cheap for expensive gear, I'd say. Get out in the heat in the summer and uh, the heat makes the glue move, the, uh, the little dome trigger underneath the power button uh, slides down as you've got your radio standing up back to the sun so it doesn't fog up the screen. Alright, everything functions. I'm going to do a range test now.